What's up, collectors? At it with a big bat box, October edition. In my opinion, one of the coolest subscription boxes around. Um, beautiful packaging that they appear to be switching up every month now. This one is Yankee Stadium, so pretty cool looking. All right, I've sliced this open. I cannot remember what's in this, so we'll take just a minute to look through. Two retail packs. I'm not going to say them, but if you want, you can pause for a second and take a look for yourself. Um, as always, we got our raffle tickets. I think this month, I always get confused, but I believe it's a trout autograph as the main prize. Let me take the peanuts out. Toss them beside me on the floor. Top loader. We got some penny sleeves and our packs. So let's see. What do we have? We have 2016 Heritage High Number. We have a 2018 Series 1. We have a Bowman Draft 2015. We have some Upper Deck 2003. We have a Stadium Club 2020. We have a Tops Fire. We have some 89 Bowman. Pretty cool. And we have a hit that I'm going to save till the end. Let me cover that up. What is this next month's raffle? Hank Aaron signed bat and a Nolan Ryan signed baseball reggie jackson psa sign card so pretty cool always a nice little added bonus so let me put this in the back to look nice back there all right where should we start i guess we'll start with our vintage maybe we'll try to go by year wax is so expensive these days that i just don't much wax piece of gum looks in nice shape not too much mildew here the gum hit isn't even that bad so these were taken care of it looks like that's pretty cool a Jackie looks like a sweepstakes Ooh, these are gonna be tough John Franco Tony Armas, there's a Don Mattingly, there's a Roberto Alomar, pretty sure that's his rookie card, Tim Wallach, Peter Smith I'm guessing, Pete Smith, Royce Clayton, Paul Kilgis, Willie Ansley, Derek Lilliquist, Jay Howell, and Lance McCullers. All right. I kind of hate this Bowman because they're just a little big to fit into binder pages. Um, but they're nice looking for sure. All right, where do we go next? 03 is that our next in line i believe so let's pop some 03 i was not collecting any in 03 so this might be the first time i've ever opened this pack armando benitez wade miller little stickiness here but not bad just making sure mark ellis Jimmy Haynes. We got a Eric Karos. Not sure what this is. Some advertisement. Oh, that's a thick card. We have Pudge. It's pretty nice. Pudge on the Marlins too. 
star rookie, Luis Ayala. And a Chris Steins, I believe. All right. Pretty cool. Nice looking cards. Where are we to next? Let's do this. I think 15 draft is the next in line. We'll do Stadium Club at the end. Fire 2018, our heritage. And let's open this Bowman draft 2015. First, these are so tough to read. Michael, I'm gonna have to flip it. Mike Soroka, not bad. Boo Burrows. Mark Wattell. Bowman Scouts, Walker Bueller, that's a nice looking card. Fantasy Impact. Jordy Lara. Jake Cronenworth. And Brian Wendell. I'll put a couple on stands back there. Oh. Walker Bueller. Mike Soroka's not bad. All right. Let's pop open this Heritage. Heritage definitely is what got me back into collecting. So I'm a big fan of the Heritage. Mostly because I'm a fan of the vintage. Brad Ziegler. Ziegler, Ziegler, I can't remember. Mike Napoli. Matt Reynolds, rookie. Logan Barrett. Then and now, Big Poppy, Fernando Rodney, Pedro Alvarez, Brandon Moss, and a John Jasso. We'll put one of these up there. Who should we put up from Heritage? Let's put this Poppy up there. All right. Next, on to our 2018 flagship. See what we can pull out of here. Christian Yelich, Rizzo, Clayton Kershaw. He's been doing pretty good in the World Series. Chris Davis, Daniel Murphy, Amir Garrett, Victor Robles, Nelson Cruz. Christian Vasquez, and a Jed Lowry. All right. We'll put uh, Mr. Kershaw up next to Mr. Bueller. Uh, yeah, we can see him. There we go. Put him right in the back. All right. A couple more packs here. Fire. And then we got a hit. Cover that up. See what we can pull out of Tops Fire. Maybe some fire out of fire. Haltzen, rookie. Perez. Brandon Belt. Alvarez. That's a nice one. Put that on a stand. Polanco and Thorpe. All right, pretty cool. Like that, Yama, uh, Jordan Alvarez. Get him on a stand back here. Pretty nice looking. All right, let's check out what's in this stadium club. This looks like a retail hanger pack, maybe. All right, Jake Rogers. We got a Teddy Ball game. It's a nice looking card. 
we got a Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. We got a Brandon, Brandon Woodruff. That looks like a blue one. Is that numbered? It is. Out of 50. It's pretty cool. And we have Ryu. Hyunjin, I believe. All right. Nice little numbered card. Put them over to the side here. Mr. Woodruff. All right. And we have a hit to end our big, big bat box October edition. Should we slow reveal it? We'll try. Oh, I think we got a couple of hits. I think they changed it, but I can't really remember. So upper deck masterpieces. Looks like dice gay to me. Uh, that's pretty cool. Dice game at Zaka. Um, probably never quite lived up to the hype, but was pretty decent. Nice little relic piece there. Pretty cool. Can't complain too much. That's a nice little relic hit for a Red Sox collector. All right, let's put him. Let's put him in a stand too. All right. So what can I say? Uh, no major hits no monsters no autos out of this bat box um but we still got a shot at the raffle which is pretty sweet always fun to open packs and um you know pack value i think is still pretty good so you know not as good probably as my september box but still okay can't complain fun to open uh definitely go check them out i think you know the value is pretty good on these so um let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget that I have a contest running till the 31st of October, 50 for 50. Go check that out. I'll link it in the video description. Um, thanks as always, guys. Appreciate you watching.